welcome to Restored by Polish. I'm Krista and yes, it's Friday, July the 12th and Jacqueline can't make it. <laughs> so hopefully next week we're going to keep trying. So it's going to be, um, going to be me for still a little bit longer. So a few more videos probably just with me. So we're, I'm behind. I'm so far behind on the alternative gemstones. So I'm going to quickly get this one up for June, even though we're in the middle of July. And then hopefully I'm going to get the July one up very soon after this one. So, but I really wanted to do this one. It's funny because, so the, the, this is basically one of those where you have the alternative was really just the modern take on traditional. Traditional is pearl for June. The modern take on it is Alexandrite, which is the one that Jacqueline thought was the one that she thought was a more common version of the birthstones for June. So, but anyway, we didn't, we did pearl last year. So we're going to be doing Alexandrite. And I originally, when I was looking at this, I thought I am going to have nothing like this is such an unusual stone and I'm going to put some pictures up here. Um, it's just, it's so it's different in different lighting. It goes from this like really pretty purple color to this sort of like purpley, um, pink color, almost like a red color in some lighting. Uh, so like basically going from like dark purple to red is what it, what it looks like in different lighting. And I thought, what kind of polish am I going to have for that? I mean, that is such a unique combination of colors. And guess what? I actually found quite a few polishes that can fit into that category. So I would have never known that had I not gone seeking it. So uh, we're going to look at those. I do have a couple too that where we're just going to do uh, straight up like plum color and then we're going to add a topper just to see if we can get a similar effect. So I picked out a few and again, we're going to talk about what the history is behind the song, ugh, can't we talk today, behind Alexandrite, and then also where you find them and different symbolism for it because it's actually really interesting. So let's get the camera turned around and we will look at Alexandrite polishes. Okay, we're gonna get started and we're gonna look at these polishes that I picked out. I will put in a couple more pictures here of what Alexandrite looks like. It's a very unique stone. Um, of course, these polishes aren't gonna be exactly like the stone, but they are renditions of what I think that the stone looks like. So let's get started with the first polish and then we'll talk about some facts. And the first polish I picked was this one from Wildflower Lacquer. This is a really old polish in my collection. It does have that kind of plum base and then it has that really pretty green shimmer. It also has some really pretty like amethyst flakies in there, kind of UCC flakies that are really pretty. This one is called You Gotta Keep Living Man, Livin. And this was from February of 2020 and HHC. I think this was like a last minute purchase. I think I wanted to get another polish that I really wanted. And of course, since they couldn't travel alone, I just said, well, let me get grab this one. And um, yeah, it's really pretty. I'm, I think I've worn it maybe once. Um, this one might be the darkest of all the ones that I, that I picked out, but basically you're getting that green and that plummy kind of coloring in there. So yeah, so I think that that's, um, you know, I guess it can go on the list of polishes that look sort of like it. So the first thing that we're going to learn about Alexandrite is that it was discovered in the Emerald Mines in the Ural Mountains in Russia in the 1830s. So this is a really sort of, I want to say, quote unquote, new stone. I mean, 1830s is really moving into like modern times. So, um, so yeah, there's definitely new on in the gemstone world. And we're going to find out some more about it here in just a second. All right, the next one that I picked out was this one from Vanessa Molina, which is new to my collection. This is called Purple Thunder. Well, new, it's about a year old, a little over a year old. Um, and it also has sort of a plummy base, but it's a little bit more uh, brighter kind of plummy base, or more of like a purple, I guess you could say. It also has the green shimmer in there, and also has flakies, kind of like the Wildflower Lacquer, but these flakies are definitely different. These are like magenta flakies that, I, that go to like gold, I think in there, goldish yellow. And it's kind of sheer. I'm gonna, since I have this bright pink nail polish on, um, I should probably put it over my skin a little bit more. I don't know, I guess it's all right. Um, but anyway, this is what it looks like. I do think it gives off kind of that vibe of there's green and yet there's purple in there. It's pretty, I have not worn this yet. Um, shake well before using, but this sticker keeps wanting to come off. 
Let's see, the second thing, uh, the Alexandrite stone, I bet you're wondering, it was actually named after Tsar Alexander II. And so that's what, who it was named after and why it was named. It was named for him. I'm, I'm guessing since they found it in the mountains in Russia that, you know, they better pay homage to their Tsar at the time. So that's what they did. That's a pretty one, huh? Okay, this is the one that I think most matches it. If I this was the first pol this was the only polish I actually that came to my mind in my collection when I was thinking of Alexander. I'm like, oh, I have a polish that's just like it. So this is gonna get my pick for the closest to Alexander. Right? This is called Magic Potion and it's from Night Owl Lacquer. It was from September 2022 PPU, which I feel like wasn't that long ago, but I guess it kind of was. <laughs> and I still haven't worn this one yet, and it's so, so, so pretty. Look at this. So it's got that green shimmer with that purple base, and it has micro flakies in there. Almost on the same lines here, but I think this one has more of an amethyst kind of purpley color base on it. And I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, and the third thing we're gonna learn about Alexander, this is one is short but sweet. It symbolizes luck. So it gives you luck. I feel like um, if you stumbled upon this in mines and you found this really unique stone, that that would definitely be lucky to find that. All right, the next one, are you wondering what it is? It's a bee's knees lacquer. So, this one has more of a maroony base versus purple, but I think it's still kind of in the plum family. And then that shimmer is actually a multi-chrome shimmer because you can see it goes from green and then it also has the blue there. So yeah, it's sort of in the same family. It's called Little Effing Guy. I'm not gonna say it. It was from the What We Do in the Shadows Part Three collection. And I actually, this was my gift, my free gift. I got this as a gift with purchase when I bought some of the other ones in that collection. And yeah, on the pink, it doesn't look so good, but I'm gonna put it right on my skin so you can see. So it's a little bit more maroon leaning than versus like these, um, but I still think it's kind of in the same family and it definitely has the green shimmer in there. Although it's not as pronounced as some of these other ones, the shimmer is a little less pronounced in there. All right. All right, so the fourth thing about Alexandrite is that there is, besides it being found in Russia, it's also also found in other areas. So Brazil, which again, Brazil seems to always come up. So it's also found in Brazil, Sri Lanka, Zimbabwe, and Madagascar. And again, you know, I like to bring out my Pangea thing. I swear if you put those lands together back when we were all one continent, that those areas would be near each other. So, um, which makes sense of why, uh, you know, they would be found in those areas. So there you go. Russia, Brazil, Sri Lanka, Zimbabwe, and Madagascar is where they're found. All right, the next one is, going, I have a couple thermals in here and I did bring some hot water. Um, so maybe we'll do, well, maybe we better do them both at the same time so you can see them, but let's let's talk about, so we'll do, we'll do five and six together and then we'll put them in the hot water together. The first one is a great, from Graceful Nail Polish. This is old in my collection as well. It's called Potion Number no. Five and it's a really purpley, purpley color and then it has a few little tiny flakies in there. You can barely see them kind of twinkling around their little iridescent flakies. And it goes to a green, if I remember correctly, as I believe it does, so that's why I wanted to throw it on there. So, um, and then the other thermal is new to my collection, which is this one from Alchemy Lacquers, which is called Night Warriors. Um, it was in Polish Gamers Box in January of this year. So it's only been a few, and I, this is the one I convinced Jackie, from Nurse Jackie to have to get to, because it's so pretty. I know it goes to a really bright, kind of turquoisey green color, so. Um, so let's look at both of those on the nail well here. So this is the graceful polish without being thermal. And then this one is the alchemy lacquer. This is one of my, I'm telling you right now, that's going on my list of favorites um, for sure. Although I guess I have to wait on this one because it really was 2020. Well, I guess it is. It was beginning of 2024. I was thinking 2023, but I did get it in 2024. So it's definitely going to go on my list of favorites. And let's talk a little bit about, um, let's see, five and six here, little facts about Alexandrite. Um, it's actually a variety, Alexandrite is a variety of Chris. Chrysoberyl, Chrysoberyl, I think is what it's called. And then it's 
color, the color changing, how it's actually officially described is that it's green in daylight or under fluorescent lighting, and it turns red under incandescent lighting. So there you go. Although when I look at it, it doesn't really look red. I think it looks more like kind of maroony colored. And let's take these really fast, and I'm gonna dip them into my hot water over here, and I'm gonna show you what they look like. So this one turns a little bit more blue than this one. It actually is more green leaning, but when you put it next to this really, really green one, it looks more blue. But there are Alexandrites that look, that look like that. Let's see if I can do a happy, happy here if it'll come back. It's pretty warm today, so it's probably not gonna change back super quick. But yeah, I feel like these, those both get the, the feeling of being an Alexandrite stone. even though this one looks a little bit tiny more blue. I wonder if that's changed too, because I do kind of remember that thermal being more, um, like a more a green, greener color, I guess you could say. So, at any rate, it'll turn back, I guess, as we go on. It's Like I said, it's pretty warm today. We are having a massive heat wave out here. Down in the valley, it was, I literally, I was driving back the other night, it was 113 degrees, so. Not here in the mountains. In the mountains, it's a little bit cooler, but still hot. I mean, we hit 100 degrees here. I mean, that never happens in the, in the mountains. That's just crazy. All right, the next polish is going to be this one from Glam Polish. Look at this. This was an afterthought of mine. I was like, oh, wait, that's definitely looking like an Alexandrite. I mean, look at how shiny it is. This is called Imperio. I think it was from a Harry Potter collection. And yeah, look at that. It's got the green. It's basically in a purple jelly base and then it's got the green shimmer and there's flakies in there it's like a i think it's a multi-chrome shimmer because i'm seeing it switch from like ultraviolet purple to green in there see how it changes so 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 pretty and that's what it looks like i was shocked about how many of these i found that i thought went with alexandrite i was like wow those are there's more than I thought I had in my collection. Okay, and then let's talk about the hardness of it. You remember we talked about how there's this thing called the Mohs scale, and on Mohs scale, this is actually a really durable stone. It's actually pretty hard. It's 8.5 on Mohs scale, which is crazy. So, but I also read that you do still have to take care of them. Like you can't just like whack them around. Um, so even though they're pretty hard, they do need some attention to take care of them. All right, and then let's see, the next, the last two that we're gonna do, um, and then we're just gonna talk a little bit about uh, some more facts about this stone are ones that I did a combo on. So the first combo is gonna be this one from Pure Ice, which is called Forget Me Not. It's a Forget Me Not, I got it at the thrift store for a buck. And it's just a really pretty purple shimmer, like kind of like a violet purple shimmery Almost like it's got like a silver sheen in there. And then what I did was I added this little doodad from Revlon. Um, this is one of those ones that you have a brush on either side. And I don't, do these have names? I don't even know. Oh yeah, I guess it does. This is called Sun Shower. Sun Shower. And so I used just this part of it and I put it on top of there. And this is what it looks like. What do you think? Maybe a little bit more bluish green versus being green green, but you know, it gets the effect of it. So then let's do a couple of them since we're, I only have really one more polish here. They are very rare. Alexandrite is very, very rare, which is, they said it's basically along the same lines as diamonds and rubies and sa sapphires. I mean, that's how rare they are. So it's, and it also makes them pretty expensive for that reason. It's linked to the Gemini, uh, horoscope sign that on the zodiac uh, and that makes sense because gemini is considered a june you know usually june babies are gemini not all like all all the way through june right because it changes but um but there definitely goes with gemini and they're believed to channel positive energy and gives you inner strength that's what alexandre does so there you go and my last little combo that i have is we're going to do this one from opi which is called, do you have that color in Stockholm? One of my favorite purples, it's really pretty. It's kind of a rich, a more blue toned versus the violet. And you're gonna see that on the nail wheel here. 
when I um, have it next to the one that we just did. And then of course, one of my favorite toppers ever is the one from Fancy Gloss called Ranger. I mean, look, that, of course, anything you put on that's gonna cause a kind of a green sheen on it. And look at this. So that definitely does the purple and the blue. The only thing it doesn't really get you is the red kind of changing color. So, um, so that's, that's, I feel like this is maybe a little bit too cool tone. That's kind of why I wanted to pull in some of these other ones that are more violet, because when you look at Alexandrite, it really has more of this violety color versus the cool toned purple. But I thought it would be fun to throw it in there. And the last three things that we're going to say about Alexandrite is that it improves your emotional well being, it strengthens your balance and clarity balance and clarity and then it invites prosperity and abundance so there you go if you're looking for any of those things you might want to have a alexandrite on you to help you uh, achieve those qualities all right well that was alexandrite i kind of did a quick and a quick and uh quick and dirty version of our alternative birthstones and like i said hopefully i'll be able to get July out there soon. You're going to be really shocked by what July is. I went through a lot of different <laughs> different ones and the one that kept coming up was this one and it's going to be a little different for the middle of summer. So I'm just going to give you guys a warning. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.